Bruce's um, forehead slipped on the toilet. Ichigo's having some bad luck here. He twisted his ankle, Bruce's forehead, and he caught an STD. <laughs> what? How did you catch an STD, Ichiko? We're not even having fornications and sexual encounters in this base. Welcome back, everybody, to Falcon Plays Life in Bunker. I'm excited right now because we have a ton of materials coming in. We have all the basic needs to survive. ton of food, a uh, ton of vegetables. We have beds. We have ore. We have everything going on. So finally, today is the episode where we start working on making the base look pretty now that we have all the survival needs going on over here. But before we do that, we also have some kids that grew up and they can now work finally. So we have two extra ones over here and Stephanie Bing should be growing up here pretty soon as well. So we'll start off over here. Well, what do we need? A lot of people have retired and a lot of people are about to retire. Everybody at 10 is going to retire at 12, mind you. So we're going to lose a chef, a farmer, and an engineer. At the moment, though, we have a ton of different people here, so we could probably do it from this side, right? Yeah, two more up here. All right, we'll do... Hold on. Here's what we'll do. We'll make Uger Waxman a chef. And Alina could be janitor for now. Okay. Scientists are good to go. No problem over here. We already have a janitor, we said. Yes, so we have a janitor and a chef up here. We have three chefs now. This is good because I wanted to drop Ichiko over to a, a janitor, right? Yeah. Kelly could now be a worker. How far do we have to go? We have three engineers, which is good for fixing stuff. We have two chefs. We have only one farmer. No good. So we drop Francis over to chef or farmer. That's good. So two farmers, at least, two chefs, two scientists, two engineers. Do we need three janitors, Falcon? No. So we could drop Alina actually over to farming. So three farmers, two chefs, two engineers, two um, janitors, and three workers. Sounds pretty decent for me for now. Yeah, that's good. All righty. We're going to need more workers when we start flooring everything off. But for now, this is a good layout. And we still have to wait up for the third kid to grow up, which should be happening pretty soon. All righty. Very, very good. Let's get the third heavy machinery up and running, and then we start building our walls. So for this, we need more concrete, right? Mm, concrete. Confirm. As soon as you build that, that's up and running. Oh, do we have enough power? This requires sturdy, and you have enough power to give off. Perfect. <laughs> I love it when things run so well. Makes me so happy in my heart. We have some breakage, but our engineer should take care of that. You guys are building fast now, too. Very nice. Uh, let's go into production. Heavy refinery. There you go. That's the third one. And from that, we can start building our floors. Hey, um, guys, you guys took care of that, right? Absolutely, you did. Let's get back above floor. Oh, here's a go. Third person. Stephanie Binks is now ready to work. Stephanie Binks. Let's go by age. Engineer a worker. You know what? Let's do another worker. Because we're going to start making walls and floors and all that jazz, so we definitely need them. Alrighty. So let's start working on the floors here momentarily. I'm going to make the... Snots. <laughs> I'm not going to make those, but that happened just now. Oh, oh. John McLean got poison, ate raw fish. Again, I'm not sure where you guys are getting fish from. There's no aquarium in here. And more importantly, he's old, so if he dies, then, you know, hey. John McLean, you've lived a good life. I think we make our eating area, our growing area, red. I like red. It kind of gives it like that whole kitchen, cafeteria type of feel. So we go floors and red all around. Where do I want my wall? Through here, right? So. I really want them to do the whole um, drag thing because right now you have to <laughs> mark everything yourself this way. And it's kind of a little bit annoying. So come through here. Well, I guess we could just waggle our pointer around. Waggle like you just don't care. That's good? Yeah, that's good for now. Over here, I'm going to probably have a door to lead into the refinery area, or the waste area, because I don't want to have that, you know, completely open to our cafeteria area. Don't worry, guys, I have a good plan for what I want to set up over here. The basic thing was getting enough people and enough um, basic needs to survive. Once that's up and running, I can start now making the base look pretty around everything that we have going on here. Basic need of survival is to survive. Afterwards, you can worry about making it look pretty. 
So, you guys start working on that one? Let's get set up our walls, too. No reason not to. So, walls, we want you going down through here. And this will be a wall as well, meaning we'll probably have to break you down. And I'm okay with that. Over here is going to be our door. I want a door over here as well. We could probably do another door here too, just to break everything off. You know what? Let's do it, Falcon. Oh, do we have enough power for that door though, Falcon? That's the other question. I think we should. I don't think the doors take too much to power up, right? Eight. Yeah, yeah, we probably should. Alrighty, yeah, things are coming to be. You need showers? Well, we have showers. And we don't have enough room for all of our veggies. That's good. <laughs> it means we're supplying a really good amount. Nothing to be upset about here. All right. Very nice. Over here is where my door should be, right? So let's go into doors and lifts. We'll do a single door. Is there a difference here? 15 and 4, and you require... Oh, the double doors are... Separates rooms. And what is this one? Separates rooms. I'll just use a single one. Oh, I guess with double doors, you could have more than one people walk through. But it requires four spots. I guess I could do it, but... Why? You know? <laughs> like, what's the point? How much power do you have to give me? I guess I have a lot of one. Alrighty, you know what? We'll do it. Sure, why not? Why not? Break this wall down. No, oh, Mo Man got killed. Don't worry, Mo Man. As soon as we have our floors happening, you're not going to be able to pierce through my base pretty soon. So get it out of your system now, because soon it's going to be game over for you. Well, I mean, I'll still kill you when I see you, but, you know, I don't have to worry about you busting through my floors and being like, Hey, guys, I'm over here. I'm Hans Mo Man or something. Soon. Very soon. Alrighty. We definitely do need, do need a few more extra workers for this job here. Okay. That's probably this bad boy over here, right? Oh, yeah, you're done. Hey, good thing we have backups, right? Perfect. So, hey, does this mean we could now turn this off and deconstruct it for more building materials and more power? Absolutely, it probably should. So, disassemble this bad boy over here. And for now, let's go ahead and power it off. No reason to take up my power if you're not even working. Very good. So now, we have you at 125, you have 169, and you have 160, and we have another one over here too. <laughs> so what I'm thinking we do is after we set up our flooring, we'll do another digging area through here and grab this one for our cause over here. I want to add a few extra workers if I can. What happened here? Mining? Yeah, yeah, I know about that one. Any god... Mild electric burns. Stepped on a bare cable. That's no good, Annie. Well, luckily we have doctors for that. And an earthquake. Alrighty. I I'm seeing a lot of shit again. Old people, man. <laughs> Stop shitting all over the place. Do we have two janitors? We should have two. I see one. And we're maxed out again on veggies. That's fine. That's quite alright for me. How many um, janitors do we have, like, real talk? I thought we had two of them. No, we, had, we do have two. Not sure where the other one's at. They'll take care of the issues here pretty soon. Alrighty, great. And the walls are being brought down on this side. We want to set up the double wall through here. Or the, not the wall, but the door. So... Mm, yeah, we'll do... Double door... Dumbledore. We'll do double door this way here. And some nice walls through here. Bring that one down. Bring it down. There you go. Confirm that. Set that up. And let's go ahead and start deconstructing through here as well. Very nice. And it's over here powered up already instantly? Yeah, it does, because we have some power cables over here already. <laughs> Um, I hope you guys could build over here. I'm, I'm starting to get a bit worried that you guys can't build it unless I remove some canteens. We'll keep an eye on this, but I'm a bit worried that they probably can't build through it. We'll keep an eye out, though. The canteens might be in the way. If that's the case, we'll probably move the canteens down over here for now. We could just build some and deconstruct these bad boys over here, right? Yeah, it's not too bad. We're up to almost 700 building materials. Very, very nice. Oh, my God. Now, Falcon, did you set up babies? No, Falcon, you did not. We're up, we're up to 123 research points as well. We want to have these babies up and running. Um, this got deconstructed, which is great. So now over here you have 10 more to give me. 
water anyway, and then you have a lot more power. So we could do one more air purifier before we need to find another source. Or just build some air purifiers down here too. Although, oop, you're actually kind of low yourself. We're going to probably have to set up another entire room for just purifiers, I'm going to say. Okay, but for now we can do one more. The only problem is we can't fit it over here anymore. Otherwise, the actually, yeah, if I put it here, they won't be able to fix this one. So, I guess I'll probably place it over here for now. Yeah. Let's go into life support, purifier right there. Up and running. Kids, kids, kids. You are the ones I need to figure out about right now because everybody's happy. Yeah, just about. Let's go by age here again. So, right now, who is going to be retiring soon? We're going to lose a chef and a farmer. Assuming we keep this layout, which I kind of want to. It's a pretty decent uh, setup. We're going to lose a chef and a farmer. But we do have a few extra chefs here, but they're all kind of getting old other than Ugar. So, I think we'll set up a, a chef for a fact and... I think we have enough farmers. Scientist, Dirty Randy's a nine. You know what? We'll do a scientist again and a chef. And the other one will probably be like an engineer, maybe? We have a ton of um, everything else. Maybe a worker. Yeah. Okay. So we'll do scientist. We'll do a, a chef. And we'll do... Mm, give me a farmer. And... Produce. Down to 60 research points, that's okay. Now with 60, what we could do is do the diamond drill bid. Yeah, we could do that one. Leisure stuff. We have big air purifier, big reactor as well. We might want to start considering grabbing those, the big reactors. We have the points for it now. I'm not really too interested in the grain patch just yet. I think we're doing fine with our food supply for now. Yeah, we're doing really good. Alrighty, let's do diamond drill bid. Fast assembly. So that's maxed out. We have 15 left over. And we'll start using that for... What do we go for, guys? Big reactor and big air purifier. So we need 110. Keep that in mind. 110. Alright. Get going over here. <laughs> Things are going so good. Oh yeah, so they're not, they're not able to build it, does seem. Okay. What's, what's happening? No, we're not starving. We're not starving. Don't bullshit me. We have enough food. Okay. Uh, we need a canteen to be moved over here, then. So, residential zone, canteen, over here, and another one right here. Uh, you know what we should do? Hold up, hold up. Can I... Oh, no, 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 not that. Now they're working on it. I was going to say, like, we could make some room so they could, like, kind of pass by. Like, have it, like, you know, set up in 4x4. Four four. Not that we need 4x4, four four, really, but, you know, if we want to just make it nicer looking. Uh, we could still do it later. Alrighty, so this one here needs to be disassembled. Get this one out of the way. How's the food coming along here? You're mixing it up still? Yes, you are. Very, very nice. So we break this one down now. And as soon as the food gets um, removed from here, we could come over here and disassemble that. Chef, put the food... No, no, don't put it there. Yeah, yeah, put it on that one. That's good. Now they'll fill up the spots over here that we were missing. Great. So the chef does have to go all the way around. So you know what? We definitely have to deconstruct one of these canteens so they can just move. Have like a small little hallway as opposed to coming all the way around. Okay, good. We're trying to be efficient here, you know? Hey, can you guys eat the food over here? Like, this would be great. I'd rather not throw this food away. If we could avoid it. Well, until that food goes away, let's go ahead and start filling up more of the walls here. Now... For this area here, what I want to do, perhaps, is we want to set up the wall through here. So, let's do the easy part, which is the wall. We know for a fact we want the wall... Excuse me, come here. Through here. I want to set up a door right over here to break the recycling area from our growing area. So here we can do a double door or just a single door. Let's confirm our wall first. And let's go into doors. I think a single door is going to be more than enough, right? Because if we do double... Yeah, I guess a double the one would be a little bit better, sure. 20 materials and 8 power. Okay. I'll connect you through here. We'll figure out where you're drawing power from. I want to say you should be drawing power from here, which we have enough power from. So as long as that happens, we should be fine. You shouldn't cause any sort of uh, meltdowns up there. 
And then we'll put up another wall right here. Okay. That is good. Now. Uh, what's happening? What happened? Oh. You stop it right now. <laughs> what the fuck's happening? Uh, princess. Oh, princess retired. Earthquakes. Yeah, that might have happened beforehand. Oh, Percival retired. Ichiko twisted his ankle. The residents have been suffering from diseases for a long time. Hey, what do you mean for a long time? We have doctors here. Don't give me that shit. Ichigo bruised his um, forehead. Slipped on the toilet. Ichigo's having some bad luck here. He twisted his ankle, bruised his forehead. And he caught an STD? <laughs> what? How did you catch an STD, Ichigo? We're not even having fornications and sexual encounters in this base. We have all of our babies through here. My god, is there like a... Can we like research some contraceptives or something? Not a contraceptives really, but you know, some condoms and you know, just things to avoid diseases that way. It's no good. Okay. I don't think... Do we have a cure for STDs in this base? Because it actually... Well, it doesn't have to be like the big ones. I guess it could just be like, you know, herpes or something. Not that there's a cure for herpes. You could just control herpes. You can't cure it, I'm pretty sure anyway. Alrighty, well, hey Ichigo, you should come over here and get yourself treated, huh? Is that him right there? That is him. <laughs> oh, cool, we have some, uh... Oh, became old? Alrighty, we have some people growing up, but we also have some people retiring. So one second, we're having fun and everything right now, but we need to make sure that we have enough people to resupply the old. So, old people, down here. We have now lost Percival and... Lord Cornholio and Princess. So what are we left with now? We have two scientists, one of which is Dirty Randy, who's getting really quite old. We also have Kelly D as a worker. So we have... Uh oh we only have one chef now, guys. So here's what we do. We have to... Ungar, be a chef here momentarily. So chef, chef, worker, farmer. Two farmers only? I guess that's fine for now. Two scientists, two farmers, two chefs, and... Mm, only one engineer. That's no good at all. So here's what we do. We make Francis engineer. And we make Ala a farmer. That's fine. And you know what? Camila and Sina should be growing up here pretty soon as well. So we'll give them some jobs here. So two engineers. Let's go ahead and do another janitor so we keep clean. Three workers for now. Two janitors. Two engineers. Two chefs. To everything. Alrighty. And then we have Sina and Kamiya pretty soon growing up. Alrighty. Not bad. Can we also get rid of all these events here, Falcon? They're becoming an issue here. Read all. Okay. Two kids should be growing up soon. No worries. No worries. It's about time. You know what? It's about time we wrap it up here for this episode as well. Alrighty, guys. Here's what we do. I'm going to wrap it up here. Next episode, we do renames. And we're going to be doing renames for... Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. We start over here at Alam, right, right? Francis was the last one, yeah. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, right? Really? I thought we'd have twelve by now. Nine renames, and then oh three more over here. I'll have either nine or twelve. I might come in with already three names generated for these three individuals so we can rename them right off the bat. So we either have nine or twelve renames for next episode. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like to support. Does mean a lot, and things are going pretty smoothly, I'm going to say, over here. Very, very nice. I will catch you guys next time.